All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to sign your first or your next copywriting client in the next 72 hours. So we'll get straight into it then. So first off, what you are going to do, you are going to pick a niche to go after. Now, don't overthink this. You don't have to commit to this niche for the rest of your life. It's just gonna make it easier when trying to find potential clients to prospect. So let's just say, for example, I wanna go after info products, so people selling online courses and online coaching, and I'm into fitness, so I'm gonna go after the fitness coaches. Again, you can pick whatever niche you want. Don't overthink it. There's lots of profitable niches, especially in the online coaching, online course industry. I'm just gonna pick fitness as an example. So you wanna to go to Instagram and you wanna try and find online coaches in that niche who have at least 100K followers. Now, this is a loose rule, but it's just a general rule, so we're picking half decent accounts, right? There's gonna be some accounts that have less than 100K followers that would potentially still be good clients to go after, but if you do 100K plus, at least you have like a large-ish organic audience to work with and you should be able to help them monetize the audience with your copywriting skills. So I'm gonna put like 100K plus. You may not wanna go after people who have like 1 million, 2 million, because typically those people are just harder to get in contact with and usually they already have a team helping them anyway. Then the, next, the other thing, and I'm gonna show you how to do this in a second, but the next thing you wanna look for is that they've got like one-on-one -on -one coaching linked in their bio. So we want to go after the people who don't really have like a business infrastructure set up and they're just selling one-on-one -on -one coaching because this is going to be um, the people who basically need your help the most. And again, I'm going to show you how to find these people in a second here. Next thing we want to look for is, I mean, this is a bonus one, honestly, but you want to look for people who have had recent viral content. The reason why we want to search for these people is, again, because these are the typical accounts that don't have a business infrastructure set up, and you can be the person who helps create that infrastructure that's going to make them more money, and then you're going to be handsomely rewarded for being the person who you know create, helps and create that infrastructure. Now, the reason why it's good to get people who have just gone viral recently is because this is the typical lifetime of a Instagram account. On the left-hand side here, we've got momentum. And over here, we've got time. So what happens is someone will start posting on Instagram and they'll get a video that starts to blow up. And then all of the content will start to go viral in a very short period of time. And what happens is they'll grow and grow and grow. And then typically what happens, the account will start to plateau and the momentum will either stay constant or it will actually start to die. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna try and target the accounts that are here. So they've started just to go viral recently and typically these accounts will go from like a thousand followers to a hundred K followers in a matter of you know weeks, if not months. Now, what you wanna do is try and find them on the way up because again, at this point, they are basically in momentum and they've got a lot more growth to go, but typically they don't realize it. So if you can strike a deal with these people here and say, for example, you're gonna get paid a percentage of the money that you make them, then you can strike the deal with them here. But what, what they don't know is that their account has a lot more potential to go and you're gonna ride this wave with them and therefore you're gonna get paid more when you reach the top. What you don't want to do is strike a deal with someone who is maybe on the way down because their account is in, not in momentum, they're not going to get as many views on their videos and it's going to be harder to monetize. Whereas if you can target someone who has got a growing audience, it's going to make your future profit potential so much easier. Plus, because these guys aren't technically that big yet and they don't have the infrastructure set up in their business, it means they're easier to strike a deal with. Again. You don't need to obsess over this, but having someone who has just recently gone viral is a great account to have. So how do we actually find these people? Well, number one, you're just gonna to go to Instagram because this is the platform that most online coaches are from. And you're just gonna go and try and find someone who has those general parameters. Now, I just found this guy called Ben. I literally went on my For You page and within, well, he was literally the first account that came up. I don't know this guy. But um, he, he's in the fitness space, he has 100K plus followers, and we're gonna check out his info in a second to see if he would be an ideal client. 
So first things first, you're going to go to the, the link that they have in their bio, and you're just going to check out what they have got going on. And you can see this guy here, he's got a free coaching call, a business consultation, and what you want to look for, he's got the one-on-one -on -one coaching, but what you want to look for is people who aren't actively building an email list. So typically, the people who are just promoting one-on-one -on -one coaching or getting people to book in for a call, they aren't building the email list, and that is what you as a copywriter is going to deliver. I'll talk about more of that in a second. But you basically want to find people that have one-on-one -on -one coaching, but they don't have a lead magnet, or they're not actively building the email list. Now this guy is, he's got subscribed to my emails. Could it be improved? Sure. Could it be optimized? Sure. Could you make him more money? Sure. But this isn't the lowest hanging fruit, so you're just not going to go after this guy in the beginning because he's already obviously got some of the business infrastructure set up. So what you want to do is when you find just one person who potentially looks like he could be an ideal client, so in this example, this guy, Ben, has 100K followers and he's in the fitness space, so potentially a good client. He's not an ideal client because he's got the infrastructure set up, but what you're going to do now is just go to this feature on Instagram right here that basically says show accounts just like this. And what's going to happen is Instagram is going to suggest accounts that are in a similar niche and also like a similar follower count. And you can literally see all here and it'll give you like so many different people to go after. So there's loads of people to search very easily. But I'm just going to open the first four guys up and I'm going to check these people out. So this guy, 35k followers, so I'm not going to prospect him. This guy, 109, so that's pretty good. This guy, 122, so that's pretty good. This guy, 12, so not going to go after him. So let's have a look at this Josh guy again. Don't have a clue who this guy is. Never seen him before. Let's have a look. So I'm going to open up his link tree. And again, he's got one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is good. Book a call, one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, training plans, let's have a look at that. He's selling some apparel. This looks like uh, his affiliate codes. So you can see here, this guy, from the looks of it, he's just selling some random coaching programs or fitness programs for low ticket. And he's just selling one-on-one. -on -one. So there's no link here or lead magnet to uh, build his email list. So this guy would literally be an ideal, ideal client. Um, and I would basically just continue this process. So I'm not sure about this guy. Let's have a look at his link tree. Online coaching, posing coaching, website, training program. So again, let's have a look at this guy's website. Again, you would do obviously a bit more in-depth research, but here again, I can't see anywhere where he's actually building an email list, right? He is he's just got some affiliate stuff, YouTube training programs. Yeah, so similar to the last guy, he's just got one-on-one -on -one coaching, he's got an inquiry form, but there's no lead magnet or funnel set up where he's actively building his email list, which is perfect for us. So within a couple of seconds, I found these two guys and they would be perfect Adlia clients. I could have a look at their content to see if recently they've gone viral. Um, again, it's not a necessity, but it's good to see if their account is in momentum or as if their follower account is dead. You can see this guy relatively recently, he's got 100K followers. He's had one reel that had like 1.3 million, which is good. So I just scroll through here and if he's had a load of videos that has more views, like this one, 200K, if he's got a load of videos that had more views than his follower count, then you know like he's you know doing something good. 3.2 mil, so again, perfect candidate. This guy, I would say, even if he didn't have those big videos, I would still prospect this guy. This guy looks like potentially a little slower account. He's not getting that many views. Um, so yeah, this is a good example of maybe someone who isn't. Again, this one, 1 million though. So that's pretty good. I don't know, 1.5 million. So again, looks like maybe a relatively in momentum account. So potentially both of those that I just mentioned are on this upwards trajectory. Again, you can do a bit more research, but within a couple of minutes, I found two perfect people that I could outreach to. So then what you're going to do is you are now, this is the next stage of the process. You're going to gather a list of people of those accounts. So you're going to grab and put the names in a spreadsheet or whatever you want to do. And then next up, you are going to, you're going to DM them, right? And you're going to DM them a innocent message that says, Hey Jack, um, I've got a question about your um, online coaching. 
Hey Josh, I've got a question about your one-on-one coaching that you have linked in your bio. You're basically inquiring about the product that they have linked in their bio. So they're going to be very eager to respond to you because they are going to be like, oh, um, I want to, you know, this guy obviously wants some information on my coaching, right? So that's going to increase the response rate. Then number two, when they respond being like, yeah, what's your question? You're going to send them a Loom video. Now, this Loom video is not obviously going to ask them a specific question about the coaching, but you're basically going to pitch them on you creating a funnel. So you're going to create them a funnel. Yes, this is my amazing drawing of a funnel. And I mean, you don't want to really pitch them a funnel because the funnel doesn't mean anything, but you basically want to pitch them that you can help them basically get more clients. And you're going to do that by building them a funnel, which is going to be a lead magnet funnel, which is then going to build their email list. And then that email list is going to generate them clients and a load of money. So that's like the funnel that you want to pitch. Obviously, you would frame it in a better way. I can't give you the exact script right now, but this is what you want to do. You want to frame it as what I call a bolt, bolt on offer. Now, a bolt on offer has these three key components. So it takes into account time, finances, and current activity, okay? And I'm not gonna write that out because it'll take too long. (laughs) So a great bolt-on offer, and this is what you wanna do in your pitch to them, you wanna make sure that it's framed as a bolt-on offer. So a great bolt-on offer poses little time investment to the potential client, little finance risk, and little risk of their current activity. So with time, you wanna frame this and say, hey, I'm going to make you all this money, but it's going to take no time investment from you. I'm going to set up and I'm going to build the entire thing. It's not actually going to take any time. So you can frame it in that way. It's going to take no time from the potential client. Finance risk, what you're going to do, you're going to pitch them and say, you're not going to pay me any money whatsoever. All you're going to do is pay me a percentage of the money that I generate you extra. So on stuff that comes directly from the email list, You're just going to pay me, you can pitch him 10%, 15%, even up to 25% for the extra revenue that you generate his business. And it's easily trackable because you can just check all of the clients and just see if they are on the email list. And if they have come from the emails that you send, then you you can basically claim a percentage of that money. Now, he's only paying you after he's collected cash from the clients. So there's no finance risk for him. If you fuck up and you do a bad job, it's not going to cost him any money. And then the third component is the effect on his current activity. Well, it's not going, you're not coming in and saying, hey, let me change your Instagram content or hey, let me change your current funnel because he doesn't have a funnel set up. So the work that you're doing is just going to be extra. It's not going to affect his current activity on what he's currently doing in his business. So again, even if you mess up, it's not going to necessarily like mess up the profitability of his current business because it's a bolt-on offer. So you're just doing something completely, completely extra for him. So this is what you want to stress when you're doing your loom pitch. Low time investment, low, no finance investment whatsoever and because you're only paying a percentage and then it's not going to affect any of his current activity. So it's basically like a no-lose situation. You, you either try it it doesn't work out and it doesn't affect him whatsoever or you try it and it makes him a load more money. Um, So that's what you want to stress in the Loom video. So I say 72 hours because this is what I would do. On day one, I would basically, there'd be two things that I would do on day one. I would spend a good few hours doing that process that I just showed you before and I would build my prospect list and I would get 100, 200, even 300 accounts, just like using the strategy that I showed you before of potential ideal prospects. Then number two, the second half of the day, I would DM them that first initial initial message that is saying like, hey, I've got a question about your coaching. Then what you're going to do is on day two, you're then going to 
do the pitch to all of these people, right? And you're going to try and book them in for a sales call. So the CTA at the end of the Loom video is to, hey, if you're interested, then we can, you know, book in a call and chat about it. So after 24 hours, you'll start, get, you'll start getting people responding to this DM. And when they respond to you, that's when you send them the Loom video and you pitch them. So depending on how many, the more people you outreach to on day one, the more people you're going to get responses from. So the more you do, the more responses, the more calls, the more money you make. And then basically day three, when these people watch your Loom video, there's going to be a percentage of them that say, yes, I want to book in a call with you. That sounds like an amazing idea. More money with no risk, right? And then day three, you're going to start selling. And you're going to book in on day two when they respond being like, yes, that sounds good. And you're going to book in a call for the next day. And then you're going to spend all of day three pitching the, the service. So the service is pretty simple, right? Right now, they have got the social media content. And what they're doing is basically going straight to get one-on-one -on -one clients. And that's it. Now, you can ask them this on the call, but there's going to be a very small percentage of people who actually book in and close as a one-on-one -on -one client. In fact, let's just say, and I'm making up numbers here, right? Let's just say it's 1%. Wait, let's do that. So let's just say right now, only 1% of people become a client, right? 1% of his followers, which is pretty good actually. You know, if he's got 100,000 followers, then, you know, that could be decent. But the problem is, this is how you pitch them. You say, but you're missing out on 99% of your followers. Because for a lot of people, getting to book in for a one-on-one -on -one call to inquire about coaching services is too big of a commitment. You're actually, there's people who are going to be clicking these links in your bio, going to the booking page, and they're going to get scared and they're going to leave. Or alternatively, like they want to book in, but then they kind of forget. I don't know. The wife calls them for dinner. The dog needs washing. I don't know what people get busy with, but you get the point. They want to go in, they don't book in, they leave the page, and then they've just lost a customer. So what you want to pitch them on is building a system that is going to basically increase this number to go from converting, say, 1% of their followers to 3%, or maybe even 5%. And again, I'm making these numbers up, but this is the example, you know, you would ask for their numbers and you can give them an example based on their numbers. So that's the pitch. I'm going to build you a system, no work from you. I'll do all the work. I'm going to convert more of your followers. So you're going to build a system here that takes them from social media. And this is like marketing 101. And you as a copywriter, if you are a copywriter, you will know what I'm talking about here. You're going to build them a funnel, right? So you're going to write the cop, you're going to build them a sales funnel that has a lead magnet that collects their email address, right? So this sales funnel is actually going to look like you're going to have a landing page. And this landing page is going to collect email addresses. And the goal then is to send them emails that book in one-on-one -on -one calls. And what happens is some people are just going to go, like I mentioned, straight from social media to booking in a call, which, as we discussed earlier, let's just say for numbers' sake, is 1%. But now, you're going to start building this email list. And as you send out valuable emails, as a good copywriter, which, you know, if you're watching this video, I assume you are, and I assume you know how to write emails, then you're going to build the relationship further with his audience. And you're going to be able to sell to them more effectively inside of email which again means you could add another 2%, 3%, 5% of people from his audience into coaching clients, which effectively could double, triple his, his business just by having this set up. 
Now again, that's like the broad pitch. But remember, this is what it is. You basically just need to highlight to him, hey, this is how much money you're missing out on by not having something that builds up more of a relationship with your audience. And you can research the benefits of having an email list versus just social media. Don't have time to go into it into this video. But you just do this pitch and you basically just show them, this is what I predict, extra revenue that we can generate you. And guess what? You don't pay me for it. You only pay me after I've made you money. So if it doesn't work, then you're not out of pocket. And guess what? It doesn't take any time investment from you because I'm going to do everything. I'm going to build the landing page. And by the way, if you're a copywriter and you don't know how to build a sales funnel, fucking learn. It's super easy. Or just number two, just hire someone from Fiverr. I don't care, but just make sure you don't use that as an excuse to not get a client learn how to build a funnel. It's very, very easy. You're going to build the funnel. You're going to write the copy for the landing pages. You're going to, you're going to write the copy for all of the emails and it's not going to affect anything he's doing. It's not going to affect any work of him. He's not going to do any work extra. You're just going to make him loads of money. And like I said, there is literally thousands of online coaches out there on Instagram that just do this top part. They're just doing this and they're losing so much money. I just showed you, I found a couple of them within seconds on the platform. So do you follow this process? If you follow this process over three days and you actually do this part <laughs> and you actually DM people and you DM a lot of people and you don't just DM five people and then start complaining that this doesn't work. If you just commit to this over a three day period, I guarantee we'll at least at the very least get some sales calls booked in. And maybe if you're not good at sales, maybe you'll fail at the first couple, but eventually if you keep doing it, keep practicing, keep getting people booked in, Work on your pitch, but again, you're just framing it. You're framing the pitch like this. No time investment, no finance risk, no effect on your current activity. Look at all these people you're missing out on. I'm going to build a system that helps you will get more of that money back. You only pay me if I get your results. It's a complete no-brainer for them. So, yeah, hope this helps, and I think that's pretty much it. Sign your first or next copywriting client in 72 hours. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.